Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. So you're watching Mainframe Vizam Tutorial Part 4. So this is a continuation to my previous video. In my last video I was explaining about the various characteristics of a Vizam and uh, the different keywords and its importance usage while working with Vizam. So in this video I would like to share something about working with Vizam datasets using a COBOL program. Okay, let's go ahead and see. So we know that there are four VZAM file organizations that is uh, uh, sequential, indexed, and relative, and line sequential. So when I say sequential, it refers to ASDS, indexed refers to KSDS, cluster, and relative ref refers to RRDS, and uh, L uh, line sequential refers to LDS. Okay, so. So below are the important terms you need to remember while working with the COBOL plus VZAM. So assign, organization and access mode. These are the three important keywords. So this keyword is used during mapping between the logical to physical file that is uh, we say select from this to this. So this is important. So organization to indicate it is indexed or sequential file access mode to see whether you are accessing in a sequential order, random order or dynamic order. So let's see an example of a COBOL program. So first we will, we will uh, create a VZAM file. So this is the job card to use the, I mean, this is the JCL. So where I'm creating TSO VZAM dot cluster. So this is uh, the simple VZAM cluster. Okay, so once after doing it, so we will write a COBOL program using VZAM files. So this COBOL program is used to write a records into a VZAM file. So let's see how to write it. So as usual, identification division, program ID, environment division, input output section, and the file control. So select WSN file assigned to your physical file. Organization, it should be indexed. So you are trying to access mode is random. So record key is input EMB ID, file status to evaluate the file logic. So data division file section, employee record, uh, file declaration. So total each is of uh, 20 bytes. So the same 20 bytes need to be declared in working storage section. So in order to uh, handle the file uh, success or end of the file reach. So we are declaring two variables. 00, zero indicates success, end of the file indicates 10. So input uh, record which is of 20 bytes, the same it should match with the file declaration structure. Okay, switch. Procedure division. So, uh, let's uh, we, we know we know that the life cycle of the file structure is open, input, insert, or uh, read or write, and uh, close the para. So in the same way, we will work in the same para. So first, first perform is to read the para. I mean, sorry, open the open open the file. So it goes to whenever it it encounters this line. So it goes to this open para. Initialize. Uh, I'm trying to initialize all the different variables, input rec switches, and end of the file switch. Now, open your file. Open your VZAM file. FWS in file success. File open successfully. Display the uh, uh, display file open success on the console area. So, if there is in some issue, file opening error, then it straight away you have to exit from this statement. So, go to A hundred six exit. So, in the same way. Uh, Input area, the next section is uh, input. So you will go to this input area. Accept. So from the on the console, you are trying to enter the 20 bytes of record. So it will accept this. And after accepting, so you have an insert para. So where you will be writing your record into a uh, record from uh, local to the physical file. So here is how you write it. Then close the para. So that's it. This is a simple COBOL plus uh, VZAM programming. So you can uh, uh, you can write your own programming uh, by modifying it or doing anything. So, so thank you so much for watching this video. I will be coming up with more and more videos about the uh, the complete VZAM and uh, or you, you uh, it might be having a uh, more uh, programmatically and uh, indexed. Uh, more we'll talk about the more uh, more about the KSDS and its importance. So mostly in real time we use of KSDS, so which is very very important. So thank you so much for watching this video. Kindly please feel free to subscribe me or comment or, or share this on YouTube channel. So have a great and pleasurable day.